Hello and welcome to Substitution. When we're solving a system of equations, there are a couple of different methods, and one of the most popular methods is called substitution. I've listed the steps up here. You get one variable alone, then substitute into the other equation. Now we have an equation with only one variable, solve for that variable, and then plug back in to find the other variable. And we'll walk you through those steps. So the first thing is to get one variable alone. It doesn't matter which one, this x or this y or this x or this y, whichever looks easiest. In this case, this y is the easiest thing to get by itself because there's nothing attached to it. All I would have to do is subtract the 4x and I have y equals negative 4x plus 24. And now I have one variable alone. So that is my first step. Okay. Second step, substitute into the other equation. If this is what y is equal to, then in this other equation, since I worked on this one first, in this other equation, instead of y, I can substitute all of this in for y because it's equal to y. So what that would look like is we'd have 2x minus 3, but instead of y, I'm putting in what is equal to y, and that is negative 4x plus 24. And 2x minus 3y equals negative 2. So from here, I can try to, that was step 2, substitute into other equation. Now we have only, have an equation with only one variable. So you see x's, x's, x's. Now we're good to go, and I'm going to solve for that variable. So now I just need to figure out what x is. And so I'll take this negative 3, I'll distribute it. Negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. Negative 3 times 24 is negative 72. Now I'll combine my x's. These make 14x. I'll get all the plain numbers on the other side. That is 70, 14x. And if I divide, that is 5 x equals 5. Okay, but I'm not finished. What I've done is I found one of the variables. I solved for that variable. Now plug back in to find the other variable. So I know x is 5 and I can plug it back in anywhere. I could go into here or here or even here and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug back into here and say x is 5. So y equals negative 4 times 5 plus 24. So that would be negative 20, which makes 4. So x is 5, y is 4. I write my answer as an ordered pair every time like this. 5 is x, 4 is y. That is my answer. OK, here's one to try. Try this one on your own. Pause the video and try it. And then restart it when you're ready to see it worked out. OK, pause. Here we go. This is the easiest variable to get by itself, so I'm going to subtract 3y here and give me x equals negative 3y plus 11. Since this is what x is equal to, I can substitute it in here for x. So that is negative 3y plus 11 minus 2y equals 6. And now I can solve for y because I have all y's here. Negative 6y plus 22 minus 4. Or what? 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 there. There's just 2y. I don't keep distributing there. Negative 6y and negative 2y make it combined. Negative 8y on this side. And if I subtract 22, that gives me negative 16. So dividing y equals 2. Hopefully that's what you got as well. Now I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to choose to plug it in for this y all the way up here. So that will give me x equals negative 3 times 2 plus 11. So that is negative 6 plus 11, which is 5. So I write my answer as an order pair with x and then y. So my answer is 5, 2. Hope you got that right. That is substitution. Have a great day.